Hi guys, welcome to Claire's Day. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> oh my god, this mic in front of me makes me a different person, but I'm still Claire. What's good with you? I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. You're welcome to another episode of Claire's Deck. Now, you know how we do over here? I ask my guests the most random hypothetical questions. Never have I ever questions. Basically, because I want to know a lot more about them than what whatever search engine you use has to tell me. So today, I'm hanging with an exceptional artist. Now, this baby, the first time I heard her song, I was like, hold on. Wait a minute. Like, I actually did a double take. And it's crazy because it was playing on my show on radio. And I was... <laughs> Sorry to my bosses, but I was watching a video on TikTok, and then I actually looked up from a TikTok video, which is crazy, right? And then I, I did a deep dive, and I realized that this babe literally has, like, some walls around her, and I felt invited into it. And I saw two different sides of her that we're going to explore in this whole podcast, but it's going to be a fun ride. And you definitely should grab a popcorn or two. <laughs> for this one because it's going to be lit. So I'm hanging with the gorgeous, the amazing, the impeccable Rukmani. Hi, Claire. It's not fun. <laughs> she is what she says she is. Hi, hi. hi. I'm, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Hungry? I want bully. And it's not because of Rukmani. Are you a Potako girl? Sorry, I'm I've not. been wanting to ask. I'm like, not from Potako, but the thing it is It gives like the vibes too much. Like, ah, uh-uh. ah. See, that's a compliment, though. It's so crazy because at the, um, then this is listening yesterday. He literally gave me some potato slangs, and I told him that from then on, I'm going to be using them. So, we that. <laughs> yeah, you I'm PH. from Delta State, though. I'm not from PH. Mm-hmm. I've been to PH one time, and let's just say it was love at first sight, to be honest. But <laughs> from the airport, yo, the cab guy almost fought me like us i was like okay i'm in a different city yeah different very city. aggressive like, <laughs> people but like what's one thing you do that will make people go oh she's definitely from ph uh... <laughs> um my pigeon is very very thick but yeah other than that i am very i really fight for what i believe in mm, like you have a strong opinion yeah, I'm highly opinionated. Opinionated. Yeah, but like, yeah. I always, I, I aggressively fight yeah. for stuff I believe in. I notice a lot of PH people have that in yeah, them. Like, I wonder why. Sometimes we don't even know better. Or, or, <laughs> or we just so, believe it. Yeah, yeah it's, we'll fight for it. Like, no, that type of thing. That's just crazy. So, you said your pigeon's very thick. Let's see, from this question now to the third question. <laughs> we go, they speak pigeon, they go. I am no shaking. Let's go there. <laughs> No, no, no shaking. No shaking. Yeah, okay. All right. So, the next question where I get for you now for this show, we say, you, <laughs> you, you grew up with your mama, right? Yes, yes, I did. So, what was it like? Oh, my mom works very hard. Ah, you, eh, oh, say, sorry, sorry, eh, sorry. Eh. But my mom works very hard, though. But, <laughs> yeah, so, I didn't really have enough time with her because my mom works like six to six she's mm. an engineer mm. like she holds the house up and everything so i didn't really get to spend much time with her and even during the weekends she's busy but yeah she's she's i don't know so at what point did you now get into music are you the only child um i'm the last child but well, i have a brother like an older brother yeah that's so cool though yeah so how did you now get into music what was the first time you clocked that Oh, wait, I'm actually talented. That's crazy. Okay, I clocked when someone else told me that really? you should actually do this professionally. Before mm. then, I had been like singing, writing, trying to do this, but I never really thought to myself on my own that, oh, I mean, I should take this seriously. Mm. And, like, But then some guy, I would always be grateful to him. His name is Pot- His name is Harcourt. And he stays in Port Harcourt. Crazy. And yeah, he was like, guy, you should take this seriously. And I'm like, why didn't I think, think of, of that? that. <laughs> Literally, though. And then from that moment, I started doing it seriously. Mm, that's yeah. actually really... Was the person your friend? He was... Yeah, he was my very good friend. Now, this is why we lay emphasis on speaking life into your friends. Because a lot of times, you would not know you can actually do some stuff until the next person beside you tells you. Yeah. And then imagine if you surround yourself with people that just speak negatively and just think, oh, you know Hell if you run out, no. you know if you run out, you know if you run out. I can't be around negative you, Immediately, you no. sense that energy. 
dip. Yeah. Dip, dip, dip. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let's get into the hypotheticals, right? If you could go back in time and give your parents advice before you were born, what advice would you give them? What? <laughs> <laughs> before I was born. Ugh. Let's say wow. you found a time traveling machine in a nail salon and you could go back to before you were born, meet your parents and be like, yo, Mr. and Mrs. Rukmani, don't do this. Okay, so I'm going to tell them to try and spend more time with their children. Mm. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, because the two of them are always like very busy and yeah, we need we needed their attention. Would you say that that really affected you majorly and how did you translate that because i realize a lot of us have similar trauma but the way we translate it is what stands out okay yes it would always affect you but me in it kind of made makes me stronger because i always mm -hmm. have this feeling that i don't need anybody yeah like independence own, yeah but at the same time i know i need people yeah. but then i won't beg you <laughs> to be there for me like, I'll go beg I'll, yeah <laughs> i always show up for myself mm. so that's what's that's oh, that's really really good because a lot of people might take it the flip side and feel like they can't do anything on their own yeah. yeah do you understand that's really really good okay if you could change genders for a week would you do it and if you do that what would you do <laughs> oh wow um if i could change genders i don't think i want to be a man <laughs> sorry i don't think i want to be a man because no oh mm. Mm, no not really Get how, how, yeah. how are you <laughs> because i feel like already i kind of experienced that weight mm -hmm. in a way in a way but because i'm a baby girl you just did there's still like yeah. some soft she, oh she's a girl she's a girl <laughs> just like <laughs> keep it easy on her stuff you get Nah. But yeah, I don't think I want to be a guy at all. I'm nah. fine. I like the way I dress. In fact, I can I can dress like a boy. I can dress like a girl. Yeah, like, and it's completely okay. Do you get? Nah, so because men, nah. nah, they actually try. Because imagine being a man that you have to like live your life, work, earn, marry somebody that you don't really know like that. Because to be honest, yeah, when men try and pick a partner, I don't really think they go oh. I have to have known my partners. A lot of them. And they have a lot of options. Do you too. understand? It's just like, a lot all right, of let options. me take you seriously. And yeah. yeah, we'll just do that. And then you know how to spend your money on those guys, man, and give birth to kids that don't pay rent. You know, you have to pay for their school for a lot. It's crazy. Crazy. Shout out um, to the men. Shout out to the men. Shout out to you. Um, so, if your best friend should murder someone for a good reason, would you help her hide the body or... Would you turn her in? Um, I don't want to know where the body is, but mm. I won't turn her in. Like, mm. no. You would just be like, I just be like, yeah. <laughs> you have balls. What? But I won't turn her in at all. Would you tell her not to tell anybody that she told you? Yes, that too. <laughs> I, like, nobody has to know that. <laughs> I know. Look, oh, money okay. knows nothing about this. Yeah. I mean, that might be softy talking, though. It's softy. Yeah. If Rukmani, Rukmani's like, let's run it up. Yeah. Gateway drug, let's run it up. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely softy. Like, my friends get the softy. Mm, I hear yeah. that in your falsetto as well. Yeah. So, if you're in a gathering, right, and a guy, hypothetically, with a gun, comes in and threatens to shoot, would you be the guy that jumps in and takes the gun or the guy that runs away? Like the person, obviously, the girl that runs away. Is he pointing the gun at me no, or it does, at the crowd? Yeah. Or in the air? <laughs> Like, is, you're in a gathering. Okay. And a guy comes with a gun and threatens to shoot. So he just points it up like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to shoot. Anybody, if you move, I shoot. Would you be the person that would jump in and take the gun or the person that runs away? <laughs> if you say we should not move, I won't move now. Where am I running to? to you wouldn't even run. Gun? No, I would just be still. Like, yeah. You don't know me. I don't know you. Do what you want to do and be going. Like, <laughs> Let me just be on scene. Like, why would I come and like, no, no give me the like no, no, what's no, in the karate? No. Like no. Nah. <laughs> I'm sure the only person that will answer this question and be like, no, I'm gonna take the gun. It's all like maybe a bodybuilder, like, yeah. <laughs> 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 I 
things you do. You'll probably run the other way. I'm weak. So, would you rather fall in love and get your heart broken or never fall in love and why? Woo! What do you think? What do you think? I think, right, that Softy <laughs> would definitely rather fall in love. Now, let me explain to you. So, she's Rukmani Softy, right? And Rukmani has just one project out. It is called, if I remember correctly, it's called Angel on the Run. Yeah, seven songs on it. My favorite is Gateway Drug. But when I hear uh, Rukmani, right, on Gateway Drug, and I hear Rukmani on So Fine, which is another song on the album, you would hear two different personalities now so fine is a lot more falsetto and she's just like oh you're just so fine like i just want to roses and flowers and uh. and then gateway drug is like run me or not like a bicycle <laughs> mm. yeah. <laughs> and the energy is obviously different so i generally feel right let me repeat my question again because would you rather fall in love um i get your heart broken or never fall in love and why so i think Softy would never fall in love rather than get her heart broken. And then I feel like Rukmani would be able to chest it. Mm, yeah, something like that. Mm. So that's like two now. It's two people. Yeah. But but I, I, I'm going to say this though. I don't choose to fall in love, but like it happens. It, it just happens. And when Tell it happens, I just, it. I allow myself to fall and enter the gutter. Are you serious? Yeah, I just let go. Uh, let me be like that. I like, it brings out good music. So, <laughs> carry me away. Yeah. I just let go, honestly. <laughs> so, yeah. like, carry me away. I love that. I actually love that because I was crying about a heartbreak just like a month ago. I was saying like, man, I'm never like, let me mess up. <laughs> more like, three nights ago, I saw this guy. I was like, mm, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, Shall well, we? I mean, you should have led with that. So, <laughs> sign me up. So, I'm going to take your advice. But if you should break my heart, money. Just cry and dance. I will also enter your DM and be like, it's your while fault. You're dancing, like, it helps. What? Cry and dance. It helps. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, break the fourth wall. Like, you're like, oh my God, I'm just. Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> cry and dance. It, it actually helps. Literally, that makes so much sense. It's yeah. like there's always an invisible camera following yes. you. <laughs> so you're gonna be like, oh my god, I can't believe. Uh, like, yeah, it's just so crazy. So, would you rather lose the ability to lie or believe everything you're ever told? What? Hmm? Would I rather lose the ability to lie or believe everything you're ever told? I would rather. Ha. I, w- I want to know how to lie, dude. So how do I answer this question? So you yeah. want to believe everything you're told, but you'll be able to lie about it. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> Literally. Would you rather lose the Actually, ability? yes. Because I think... I, I like, you might it. believe what they say, but you said you have the ability to lie. So if you know that you can believe what they say, you already know that fact, you know that they're probably lying to you. So you just be a liar. Oh, I <laughs> Wait, I can I can lie, but I can still say the truth now. Yeah, 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 because I find it difficult to believe these days mm. myself, believe other people. So I think I would. You find out to believe yourself as well. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, am I even lying am right I, now? Am I like, what do you want? <laughs> like, so I think I would keep the lying pee and believe more. Mm. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. That makes sense. Believe. Believe. Don't talk too much. Believe. Okay, believe. We'll be right back. When I come back, I'm going to be asking Rukmani some never ever ever questions. So. Welcome back. We're back. We're back. We're back. And it is time for. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I will be, I'll be doing that. See, <laughs> now we're trying to play Never Have I Ever. Rukmani has to be honest. Do you know why I'm emphasizing the word honesty here? Because there's an angel in disguise in this room. <laughs> her name is an angel. But she did my rights. You know what i But she did this side. <laughs> Crossing her leg. She's just like, I'm mm. watching. I've blocked her. Though. See, let me tell her something. I, can't, I have eyes here. So I know. That being said, Rukmani, if you have... You got to show the camera that you have and tell us why or what's up. Okay. And then if you have not, then you have not. Okay. Are you ready for me? Yes, I am. I trust that girl. Never have I ever met someone off a dating app. 
I mean, I mean, who has? I mean. <laughs> was it like weird or was it? Mm, they are not terrible people in this world. Oh, they are all weird, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> they are all weird. I mean, that was... I won't do it again. That Crazy, are serious. Weird. That's, That's really just weird. insane. I think I have met... I met a friend. Like, I've actually met somebody that is now... Like, that is still my friend right now. Oh, off a dating yeah. app. But it was like... It wasn't obviously supposed to be. <laughs> but we're friends good friends. Yeah, yeah. That type of thing. But, of course, I've had my own fair share of Mr. Weirdos on them apps. Yeah. Okay. Never have I ever quiet, <laughs> quietly farted in a place and left the room. <laughs> yeah, <buddy>. ah, <laughs> but I will leave though. Because if you leave, they will know it's you now. Mm, so you have, have to thug it out like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, who did that? <laughs> you will be like, who did um, that? Yeah, cute girls have like cute farts that are really <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, so like... They smell, yeah. Huh? yeah. Maybe yeah, the I finest have, girls. I have. Even the finest girls, you know? <laughs> and you just drop your gun. Who did who that? Who did that? Come hmm. on. Guys. Mm-mm. Mm. Fan, please. <laughs> Never have I ever been starstruck. Oh. Let me think. Let me think. You can exclude the day that we met. You know, you know, you know it was, there was some fainting here. and I'm kidding. I am so joking, guys. No. Um, I think I have. When well, you met who? Um, I I didn't meet her like up close, but the day I saw Arista perform at mm. a club somewhere where I was mm. at, I was actually starstruck because the girl has this very amazing energy. Yeah, her aura is impeccable. Guy, I'm like, what? whoa, look at yeah. this superstar. Do you understand? Like yeah. when she walks into the room, you're like, yeah. she's that girl. Yeah, she's that so, girl. Yeah, I was. Always been that, that girl, day. and she was really really riding with Gateway Drug, you know. Yes. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes, yes. Really, really right, and I really like She's that song. She's a soft girl. Like. She's a soft girl. We're yeah. soft girls over here. Yeah. That's the I'm just looking very serious. Never have I ever convinced my friend to dump a partner. Uh, I, uh, I have <laughs> as well. I have, but do we ever listen? We both no. advise each other, like, dump him, dump him. And then the next day, we'll be like, did, uh, we didn't. Oh, like, they've, they've advised you too. Yes, now, we go both ways. Like, dump him, you dump him. I'm like, okay, we'll dump together. And then the next day, we're like, guy, nah. No, we didn't. We did le- later, next we're week. We're still here. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. I have as well. It's, 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 an, it's a never-ending cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever gotten a tattoo I regret. Never. How many tattoos do you have? I have two. Mm. No, I mean, like, it's hard to regret your first two tattoos. Imagine if you were in your 50th tattoo, like all them people in those documentaries. Do you have tattoos, though? Just one. Oh, yeah. Very cool. I was going to say. I'm a bad girl. Your guy <clears throat> did a good job. He did, right? Yeah. So people say, oh my God, quiet. The shading is not good. It go well. Like, it goes hard. It goes crazy. Child of God, man. So that if they say judgment, I say, God, I have my parcel. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever accidentally said I love you to someone. Uh, you have. <laughs> sometimes, I feel like every girl, we live the same life. So what man, the hell? sometimes even when the person says it to you and your body is not really agreeing. I love you. Just like, I, lo- I, love, I, you I love me too. too. I love you too. I mean, I'm learning that like you should just say it. These mm. days, like, just say, just it. let it go. I love you, like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's Rukmani, bro. Spread the I love you. That's Rukmani. No, that's softy. What softy means it? Yeah, oh, I love you, man. Mm. I, I love, love you, you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I'm so awkward. Like, I can reach you, you'd be like, I love you, bro. Never have I ever had to work with somebody I couldn't stand. Oh, okay. wow! How well, I'm very professional about it, though. How um, recent was that? Um, it happens quite often. It's not like I can't stand the person, but maybe I can't really stand the ideas of mm. this person. Okay, like, fine. Everything, but yeah, at the end of the day, I actually sometimes end up liking these ideas, mm. and yeah, I, I just be professional about the whole thing. So in your music making process, do you like write your songs all the time, hundred percent, or you have writers? I write my music. One hundred. Yeah. That's actually so cool. Thank you. 
So how do you like pick a beat? Do you work with any particular producer? Uh, most times it's just I hear the beat and I freestyle. Mm. Then I write off that. Off the freestyle. Yeah. So is it like a particular producer that you have or um, people send you beats? Yeah, people are. I'm always begging. Mm. Even yesterday, I made a post on my Snapchat, like, guys, send me beats. I'm mm. always begging for beats. So I love to, to work with everybody. Like, I'm not saying, oh, you or this yeah, or that. that. Nah, yeah, that's Because how would I even know what I can do if I don't work with, like, different Exactly, people. different people you've never worked with yeah, before. Yeah, that type of thing. Now, your first project that we spoke about earlier on, Angel on the Run, it came out in 2023, June, seven songs. Yo, that project. First of all, the cover. Mm-hmm. Hey. Go on, go on, Google it. Go on, Google it. Go on, now, you looked absolutely ethereal. You had a gorgeous hair on, gold jewelry, white fur. I mean, you see, off white cream. Looking very spectacular. Very big fur, guys. Very big. What? Who styled you, first of all? Um, I, 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 I. Um, uh, I think it was like a team. Okay, team effort. Type thing, I mean, yeah. Well, and they just look so. Team, though, they they looked not they so good. Thing. Was yeah. there any like any particular idea behind it, or you just? I mean, white angel, on the run. Mm. I was driving this Mercedes. I don't mm-hmm. know if you saw that. Yeah. Where the track list or yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Angel so, on the run. Pretty much it, but I didn't even have to stress and think about much because my team gets to handle mm-hmm. all that. Yeah. That's just beautiful to look at. Now, before we get into your recent drop, um, no social media. Just like I would have done the X, but I'm using my other hand, so no social media. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know that. Was really <laughs> I'm sure you're like, what the hell? I know, right? I'm like, okay. <laughs> In the end, priority. I'm just kidding. So, um. The the song Gateway Drunk, that song is my favorite song. Has been since I heard it on radio. That like I, it's just so weird how I heard it, but it literally became my favorite song instantly. Tell me about that record. I literally just need to know before we talk about no social what, what media. I don't really I want to know I want to know, <laughs> want to know the spirits ah. that's just in coffee. Just say, ah. I have to write. Is it that you thought about the title and you were like, ah, oh, let me write the record? Nah. So, it was in freestyle? Yes, exactly. So, um, you see songs like that here, yeah, it just has to, it just has to come out of your spirit. So, Dude. I just came back from somewhere and I was feeling very, mm. and, um, Wave Skinny sent me beats and I'm like, oh, let me listen to beats. And I heard this song and then I just freestyled. <laughs> Every nah, time. the song is actually so hard. Do you know how I know that song is so hard? Because yeah. every single time, literally, Ira got on the record from my story. Oh. Because it's a type of song that when you hear it, it just clicks. So yeah. every single time I post it, there's definitely always somebody that's like, yo, what song is this? Yo, yeah. what's this record? And it is like from 10 seconds. Like I didn't post a one minute clip. Or yeah. something like that. That's how you know it's such an amazing song. Always Thank wanted to tell you, you that. You, so now let's get into your new record. Unruly. And just before you drop no social media. Are you etching into a project? Um, I'm going to say you have to stick around and find that. Mm. Like you have to find out. You have to find out. I can because, smell it though. Yeah. My nose is always right. <laughs> so Unruly, tell me about that. <laughs> tell me about it. So, um, really, what do you, what, what do you want? You can't say, tell me, what do you want to know about Okay, like, no problem. Like creative process. Principal, what do you know? I want to know everything, but I'll break it down. First of all, the title. Why did you pick that? Because I'm very, I like to see myself as an unruly person. Like, I don't really like to play by the rules or what people expect of me. That is so interesting in contrast with your first project angel on the run so is it that the angel ran to her own readiness no you see the angel was on the run because she had been doing the unruly things and she did not know how to handle her like our business so she's like running like she's still trying to figure herself out so now the angel now knows that she's actually unruly. She's accepted it. Yes. Mm. But me being unruly doesn't mean like, oh, I'm bad or I'm, I'm actually the sweetest, the bestest friend you could have. 
I'm actually a good, I'm a hardworking person. I stick to my business. Do you understand? But I am unruly because I, I won't always want to play by what people expect. Yeah. Or yeah, what your opinion even says because a lot of yeah. times people get offended that you don't do exactly. what they want. It's like, I don't care. Yeah, like, there are some things thrown at me. I'll be like, yo, I don't like this. So mm-hmm. This is not how I want it to be. Period. Okay, let's play. Let's ball. We ball. Mm-hmm. That type of thing. We move now. That's a good energy. Yeah. You know, I've been wanting to ask you one thing before we get into you no know, social media. <clears throat> So, what are, like, slangs that you always use? Like, three slangs that you say uh, you always use at least every day or every week in your speech. Okay, I'm going to say no shaking. Mm-hmm. Like, I already no shaking. heard that today. I'm no shaking. I'm no shaking. It go be. And, we um, ball. No, we ball is actually new. I, I got that off some guy. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no shaking, it go be and we go there alright. Mm. Regardless. We go mm. there. Mm. Good right. day, we go there, we go yeah. there. That's mm. such tight energy though. Like from yeah. the three words that you use often you can already tell your constant energy. Yeah. Which is like, yeah, I'm good, man. Yeah, I'm good, I bet. I'm good. I don't have strength. At all. Also no social media, right? Um you were basically the cover art. It was basically like your profile, but it was like in a in a TV, TV type of thing. Tell me yeah. about that cover art. Well, I have nothing to do with the cover. It's just that it's, I'm the one mm-hmm. with my social media there. But like, I I'm, I wasn't really behind the whole idea or concept mm, for the okay. cover. Okay, that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, well I just want to cool. say that, like I said earlier, I notice, I notice it like a split percent and I just love it. I absolutely love it and I cannot wait for to see everything just manifest because I've tweeted this thing like a year ago. I'm like, Rukmani is going to take over and I see it. See, I'm a prophet. <laughs> now, let me go down memory lane. Wait, let me ask the team. Am I not a prophet? Yeah. Right? No, like, on it. Abu, you're right there. Say yes. yes. Now, <laughs> tell me why I'm a prophet, Abu. You don't know? Because I know. Talk! <laughs> say it! So... Oh, this is my congregation. Did they mess up, man? The gag is. I mean, I'm still waiting to hear. <laughs> the reason why I'm a prophet, right, is because <laughs> most times people come on my show and then they just erupt. Am I lying? Am I lying? Yes. You see, you're right. They didn't know that before. I just came up with that right now. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, I'm saying that to say you are going to do so amazing. Now, what do you, what would you want to say we should expect from you for the rest of the year, 2024? For the rest of the year, uh, how do I even put this? More stage performances because I've seen you on stage. and Yeah, more timeless music, better live performances. And... Um, yeah, greatness generally. Will we see more, more Rook Money features? Of course. Mm. Of course. Ah, me. I put my head down in this Lagos one. Mm. <laughs> making my way around. Practically choking people to get me on their track. I like, love that. Yeah, that was basically how I came out in Port Harcourt, Like, doing features and stuff. Yeah. So, I'm mm. doing the same thing. Keeping my head low, like, working. So, more music, more features, more videos. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, your yeah. video presence is... Something like, you just else, have such yeah. an attitude, like... Mm. Yes, now. I have to lock in. <laughs> I say, <laughs> sure you don't do this thing since, like, just two. Wow, I have to lock in, like... It's so good. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, guys, we've had a swell time hanging with Rick Manny on Pop Central. Please, if you want to catch me off your screen, but online, you can reach me on K-L-A-I-R-E-O-N-Y-E-K-A. That's not long, okay? It's just Claire Onyeka everywhere. And Rukmani, where can they find you? Because I feel like a lot of y'all have just fallen in love with her. Like, oh, okay, so you can wife. find me on social media at Rukmani Softy, R U K M A N I S O F T I E, everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll see you. Bye. Bye.